and uh, we had a very peaceful election. There was peace before election. There was peace during the election. There was peace after the election. And Kenyans moved on. Kenyans decided in a democratic manner how they will be governed. And everybody moved on. Those who lost went to the Supreme Court. And they had no case. And the government was formed and proceeded. Somewhere along the line, six months later, the people who lost decided that they had not lost. You see, they want something called a server to be opened. This server, we don't know where it is. <laughs> President William Ruto and I are not in custody. We don't have the custody of the server. The server is kept by IBC. And there was no server in the last election because there was something called the public portal. The results were uploaded as they were counted. And the whole world, the international community was present in Bomas, and everybody agreed that President William Ruto had won fair and square. Along the way, the opposition decided that uh, they want to start a little fight and go to the streets and demonstrate, and we say it is fine, it's part of a democracy. We thought it was that way. But reaching in the streets of Nairobi, it turned out to be different. It is destruction of property, looting of property, theft, and there was a lot of problem because people could not open businesses. And as a government, we said no. And we refused them to get to the CBD and other business areas. Along the way, they reached out to the president and said, it's not working. They want us to give them an exit strategy, which we agreed. And we told them to go to parliament and discuss. That discussion has started, but we said there can only be one discussion. One, we cannot discuss about the server because it's not within our purview. Number two, they were saying the Cherera 4 should be reinstated. There is no constitutional framework to reinstate them because they resigned on their own. They were saying they want to discuss cost of living, a good thing, only that they were not sincere. Because when they were in government through the handshake, the cost of Wunga was 230, and they were not demonstrating then, and they were not making noise. The cost of Wunga has gone down to 180, 170, as of this morning, it's 159. So it's just an excuse. So, if anybody wants to discuss the price of hunger, the cost of living, there are constitutional provisions how to do it in the National Assembly, where the budget-making process is done and they are represented in Parliament. Where the finance bill on taxation is discussed, they are represented in Parliament. So issues, cost of living, the arena of discussion is the National Assembly. So we are only left with one issue, the IBC. Let that discussion go on. And what will be the outcome? The National Assembly and Senate will decide and will be able to make progress. The only thing we have said, there will be no hardship. There will be no hardship. Because <laughs> once beaten, twice shy. The hardship nonsense was the worst experiment for the people of Kenya. Because it came up with a more grail of a government. You don't know who is government, who is in opposition. So there was nobody to oversight government. And that led to plunder of resources and theft. COVID-19 billionaires, the haste of COVID-19, money meant for sick people was stolen at that time. There was nobody to say anything. Government was borrowing money at 14%. From banks owned by those in government, there was nobody to say anything. 6.1 billion was stolen from telecom, there was nobody to say anything. 34 billion shillings was stolen from fuel subsidy, there was nobody to say anything. President William Ruto is saying, a strong opposition is good for any country. We want a strong opposition. We don't want opposition to join government. 
Let the government remain in place and let a strong opposition keep the government in check. The president <laughs> has written a memorandum to parliament recommending that parliament consider to create the office of the leader of official opposition so that the person who is today in opposition can criticize government from the dignity of parliament. He doesn't have to go to the streets. He doesn't have to wear a sufria on the head to check government. Let it be done in a dignified manner where he has government resources, he has researchers, he has staffers, he has vehicles, he has funds. Because a strong opposition is good for the country. So I want to assure you that the economy has started showing good signs of recovery. Because what the president has decided, and it's the right thing he has done, is to subsidize production as opposed to subsidize uh, consumption. When you subsidize consumption, it's not sustainable. But production can be sustained. And what the president has done is that he has given funds to subsidize the cost of fertilizer so that farmers can produce food at a lower cost, increase the yield, and lower down the cost of food. And with the rains that are going on, everything is working out very well. And we are hoping that if these rains continue the way they are, by September, we'll have a bumper harvest, and that will bring down the cost of food, and it will create and sustain food security. So the economy is showing good signs of recovery, and along the way, things will be much better. So our country is good. Everybody is busy. People are busy planting. It's only a few people who are talking about going to the streets. There are few, and that is normal. And uh, also a little noise is not bad, so that we also don't sleep on the job. <laughs> yeah. What we are against is destruction of property. If only they could to go to Jiva G Gardens and make noise from morning to evening, and then go home come back the following day and continue. That is healthy. That is very healthy. What we are against is destruction of property. What we are against is stopping people from opening their businesses. That is what, as a responsible government, we cannot allow. And that one you must allow us. We A few things here and there to make sure that nobody is destroying property. So I want to thank the High Commissioner here and the staff for the good job they are doing. I want to ask you to continue supporting the embassy. I want to ask you to continue interacting with them as it...